Denny put the block on him. Great job not causing the wreck on that block. White flag under green. Next flag will end the race, and Newman is there. Newman's got locked onto his rear bumper just like he did. Oh, wrecking behind Chase Elliott. Around. Spinning around. Still, Still green. green. Still green. Still green, and here they come. And here comes Blaney. Ryan Blaney up behind Ryan Newman trying to get him to Hamlin. Newman backed up to Blaney. Big run coming here. To no. the inside, Newman to the front. Nothing Denny Hamlin could do. What can Ryan Blaney now do? Here comes a push from Denny Hamlin. Oh, this thing's not over yet. Not at all. Ryan Newman off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside, oh. to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Crash into the wall, into the air, oh. goes Newman. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof. Ryan Newman comes across the line, fourth. Here they come for the white flag from Credit One Bank. What oh, tons of contact. Trouble. William Byron backing up through the field. There was contact among several drivers, and we are under caution. The race is not over. I think that tire blew on oh, the 12 of Blaney with heavy clear. contact and damage. I think maybe the leader had seen the white flag. And race control has confirmed that since the leader saw the white flag under green, the next flag ends the race. That caution flag will do just that. Here comes Bowman, the white flag waves, one to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Alec, uh, Austin Dillon to the pit lane for tires with one to go. Kyle Busch 9.7 back and closing as fast as he can. You know, this is one of those drivers. He doesn't have this long-term contract at Hendrick Motorsports. His future's a little bit unknown. This moment right here, if he can complete this, which it looks like he will, a huge moment for Alex Bowman's career and future and this season that he and Greg Ives and Hendrick Motorsports are starting to put together. Alex Bowman comes to the stripe to win the Auto Club 400. Career win number two. Logano up high. White flag. Next flag ends the race. And hey, we've already seen Kevin Harvick not afraid to put the bumper to somebody to move him. Will he do that if he gets to the 22 of Logano? Oh, he's trying. He was within a foot there between corners, three, one and two. One last chance at it as he dives into turn three. I think he's a little too far back. Joey got a great launch off turn two. He's got Harvick by two car lengths, and he's looking at the finish line. Second win of the season for Joey Logano. Kevin Harvick's going to show you the white flag with one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Timmy Hill waving him to the inside. Back straight away, final time. Kevin Harvick is about to become the 14th driver in NASCAR Cup history to reach 50 career victories breaking a tie with Tony Stewart for 14th. Harvick wins NASCAR's return to action at Darlington. Well, you've seen some history there because you don't often see three wide at Darlington, and they're all over the place now. And here goes Kyle Busch trying to take the lead from Denny Hamlin. Here comes Chase Elliott to the outside. Wow, that did not work out for, oh, Kyle Busch turns Chase Elliott. Hard into the wall and almost back up into traffic. Oh, Clint Boyer getting pushed, almost collects him. Man. Denny Hamlin will go to victory lane. NASCAR has called the race for rain. And Hamlin 
will pick up his 39th career win tonight. Saw Bowman, I think, almost get into Kyle Busch, but keeps it going. And two champions to settle it out here. Leader sees the white flag. Next flag ends the race. Keslowski, Johnson. Backstretch, he, final he's time. Got a pretty good run on Keslowski here. I don't know if he's close enough. Brad Keslowski. Off turn four into the checkered flag. Michigan's Brad Keslowski wins NASCAR's longest ever race. They would steal this deal. I'm going to be happy for Alan Gustafson. White flag waves. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Can you hold your breath for 30 seconds? You might have to. <laughs> Second place, Denny Hamlin. Takes it to Ryan Blaney. Hamlin now 2.4 seconds back. Couple more corners and Timmy Hill ahead for Chase Elliott. Yeah, buddy. We did it, boys. Checkered flag as a car spins through the quad oval. Three to go. Wow, what a battle here. They touch. Little bump and run there from Chase Elliott. Close. They're up and in the wall. Here comes Keslowski wow. and Kyle Busch. Oh, my goodness. Boy, Chase just sent it in there and got loose, took them both out. Two to go. Keslowski, Boyer for second from nowhere. Johnson third, Kyle Busch fourth, wow. Eric Jones fifth. White flag, one to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Only at Bristol. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Those tires working for Keslowski and those leaders. He's going to steal another one. Yeah, he is. Two Sundays in a row. Great job. Brad Keslowski wins Bristol. Can you believe it? And the white flag is waving as we have one lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. And that is the mercy flag for the rest of this field. <laughs> yeah, this has been an impressive day. Kevin Harvick was strong at times, but he and Rodney Childers had to work very hard to get their car back to the front. And I give Kevin a lot of credit for how hard he pushed to take the lead away from Kyle Busch. We'll light that candles on Rodney Childers' birthday cake because Kevin Harvick wins Atlanta. For Joe Gibbs Racing and Toyota. Around the corner, the white flag waving. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Man, look at that car, just still after all these laps, just cut through the corners like that. Impressive run, impressive driving by Mark Truex Jr. Last fall, he led every stage and got the win. Martin Truex wins Martinsville. And you're running that close to the wall. could just pull you right into it. White flag waves, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Blaney coming for second to the inside of Chase Elliott. And back up in line. Tyler Reddick has fallen two and a half behind them. And here comes Hamlin. Denny Hamlin, 40th career win at Homestead Miami Speedway. Can we get the one to go? White flag. There it is. Stenhouse leading the second lane, going nowhere. It is Harvick and Chris Busher. What? Watch this run that Ty Dillon might be able to give to Ryan Blaney to give him a big run. Nope. Ty goes underneath. Blaney pokes out. Stenhouse is with him. Harvick got away from oh, Busher. Reckon. But up front, they're racing for the win. Blaney's the ahead. in the back, and Blaney is the leader. Stenhouse. Comes back to him on the bottom. 
Off turn four, three wide. Not over yet. Here comes Eric Jones. Nemechek trying to push Jones. Eric Jones with help. Here comes Almirola. Crash into the wall. I think it's Stenhouse. It might be Blaney. Oh, my goodness. They were, what, three, four wide? Slamming and banging. He heard him have to get out of the throttle a slight bit as he got tight. And here they come to the white flag. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Hamlin looking for Pocono win number six. Harvick looking to win here for the first time ever. See Denny running a little bit lower line. Not really closing that gap enough. The only thing I see happening here, Mike, is Harvick's going to have to make a mistake in the tunnel turn. I just don't see Kevin Harvick making that mistake in these last couple of corners. Harvick did break the draft going down Long Pond straight away. Hamlin unable to gain ground in the short shoot. For the final time. And on to the front straightaway. Kevin Harvick at Pocono finally is a winner. Coming off turn three, something at the top of the day with lightning and rain I didn't think we'd see. The white flag. I run to go brought to you by Credit One Bank. Yeah, Mike, I really thought this race was going to, even when we got going after the rain delay, it was going to be a shorter race than a, a full-length race. Pretty amazing. Not counting the road courses, it's the longest last lap in NASCAR. Two and a half miles around the tri-cornered Pocono Raceway. Boy, Denny Hamlin, what a season he is having. Coming off a strong season, just came up short for that championship last year. Is this the year that maybe he can get that done for the first time? But he's going to, he loves this racetrack here at Pocono, Mike. And Denny Hamlin is going to tie Jeff Gordon as the all-time Pocono winner with six checkered flags at the Tricky Triangle. Because you're trying to hang on to a top five here. White one flag more, is white out. Flag. One more time around. Kevin Harvick. A huge lead over Matt Kenseth. Down the back stretch for the final time. Harvick, Denny Hamlin. They've been the dominant two cars all of 2020. Hamlin crashes out as they were battling for the lead. Now Harvick trying to go back to back at the most fam famous racetrack in the world. Coming out of turn four, Kevin Harvick is going to see the checkered flag. He wins again at the Brickyard. Kevin Harvick back to the outside of the, our leader, Mark, or, uh, Martin Truex Jr. Look at the run oh, that Custer they, has. They touch. Here comes Custer. He had a big run down the back, down the straightaway. How did Martin Truex Jr. get to the outside of the four car? Kevin Harvick. Here comes Blaney to the inside. Three wide. Custer White to the flag. outside. Four wide. White flag waves. One to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Next flag ends it. They're banging off one another. Custer to the lead. Oh, Heavy tire rub on the four car Kevin Harvick. A rookie is going to win Kentucky. Can you believe it? I never would have believed it till now, Mike. Custer Truex to Benedetto Harvick Blaney. Wow. Off the final turn. Rookie Cole Custer wins Kentucky. Can you believe it? Incredible. Incredible. Trying to get to that white flag. One more time around. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. That 22 and 18 side by side, that's the best thing that can happen for Austin Dillon. No momentum comes from that eight, from that 18 or 22, pushing that eight car back up to the three. He wants to take away the draft from the rest of the crew. 
from everybody behind him. His son, Ace Bourne, about a month ago, he'll be cheering for dad. He's going to win in Texas. Austin Dillon gets the win. With one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank, Denny Hamlin in position to win his fifth race of 2020. The gap still a half a second between first and second. Denny Hamlin's successes this year started off with another Daytona 500 win. He says one of the biggest things he wants to do this year is be able to celebrate with his crew because he knows that's who's getting him up front, giving him fast cars. They've done it again. He's done it again. Kansas winner, Denny Hamlin. Ash, what a dream, Ash. This race team is such a dream. Brad Keselowski coming out of turn number four. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. One more time around. Does he have enough fuel? Brad Kozlowski. It has been the Brad and Denny show all day. Kozlowski has led 183 laps, looking to lead his 184th lap through three and four for the final time. And this will be career win number 33 for Brad Kozlowski. He's going to win at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Harvick surging ahead. Truex with a big run down the front straightaway on Brad Keselowski. Does Brad will go up? Nope, doesn't have to. That's a great move by Truex. Final lap. Jockeying for positions. Four, five, six. Harvick trying to hold off. Brad Keselowski. Can Keselowski be the first ever Michigan-born driver to win here in Michigan? He won a week ago at New Hampshire. His third win of the season. Now doing everything he can to catch up to the four of Harvick. Harvick has been dominant two of the last three races. He's going to make it three out of four. Harvick's going to win again at Michigan. And that'll do it. Good job, boys. Thank you. What a car. It's one lap to go presented by Credit One Bank. We saw a huge mistake off turn two. For Harvick, or an issue that both drivers had, and Harvick has to remember that. He's got to make a little bit of a change so he doesn't have to come out of the throttle again on the exit of two. He made that change and never had to come out of the throttle. Great Bragg point. Bragging rights for manufacturers right here in the manufacturer's backyard. The Heritage Trophy going to the winner. And right now, Kevin Harvick looking to sweep the weekend. Denny Hamlin's going to have some momentum on the high side. Will it be enough as they come out of four the final time? Kevin Harvick is going to sweep Michigan. He wins again. Wow, Denny almost go. got that to him. One Play lap to go, here. presented by Credit One Bank. Drive off. He's burying it in and all the breaking zones. And Denny Hamlin is close enough. If the nine makes a mistake, he will be there. Big arc by the 11, trying to get to the bottom of this corner, have a straight drive off. And he really wide right there. Doesn't really lose a lot, but he's pushing as hard as he can. Yeah, he's just searching, trying to find something different, trying to find some speed somewhere. You see Truex underneath Johnson behind him. There's a car in front of these two. Will that affect Chase Elliott and the line that he chooses? It's all going to be where they catch that car. Is it in a bad spot, or does he have to find a way by without an issue? Oh, that is a bad spot to get by him. You hope he just Quinn pulls Howell. over. Yeah, there he pulls go. over. Quinn House is going to pull over, get out of the way of this battle for the lead. We've seen a lot of issues in turn six today. Very tough braking. The nine does a nice job. Will he get a good acceleration off? There you go, Rick. Two more chicanes to the start-finish line. Andy with a much lower exit, but that nine car just really got out of turn six. So much better, able to put a good distance there. Chase is going to look in the mirror and feel like, man, all right. Got a little more comfort, comfort there between me and the 11. Clearly, Chase Elliott's a little bit quicker, but how about Denny Hamlin? Every week, it seems, we see him battling for the win. Man, Denny drove it in there. <laughs> he did. Way he to work. Going to get need on this exit, but Denny Hamlin with 
A big surge there into, turn, into the rear chicane. Earlier, we heard Mario Andretti talk about history and making history. It was a historic event today. The Cup Series running on the road course at Daytona for the first time ever. A big challenge out of Denny Hamlin here one last time. But trying to make history, the nine of Chase Elliott, three road course wins in a row. He's going to win at Daytona. That's a career record for Denny Hamlin. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. He's seen the white flag again. Five wins already in 2020. Looks as though he's going to tie Kevin Harvick for the most wins in 2020. Harvick has six. Denny Hamlin looking for his six. As you mentioned, he had never won at the Monster Mile before. Momentum definitely on his side as Denny is out of four. And Denny Hamlin will once again see the checkered flag. He wins at the Monster Mile. I agree with you, Jeff. I thought that top looked pretty decent. The run down the straightaway was good for the 24, but he didn't stick with it. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. The final time. Harvick out front, Truex running second. Jimmy Johnson trying to hold on to third after pit strategy. Just a two-tire stop. Put him up front. Here Kevin go, Harvick is going to win. He sweeps. Great job. As long as they're too wide, now you're starting to see a little bit of a run from that top lane. That's going to move this bottom lane. Truex to the outside of Bell. What was the number you mentioned earlier, Steve? How many times at Super Speedway races has Martin Truex Jr. come up a little bit short? Car in the fence, hard. Oh, hard. Clint Boyer in the 14 slamming into the wall. Hold your line, hold your line, hold your line. They've already taken the white flag. The next flag will end the race. Martin Trex Jr. out front. Now William Byron fighting on the inside for the lead and the win. They run behind them again. Stay with your teammate. They continue to fight. You're clear. Through three and four. William Byron looking for his first ever win in the NASCAR Cup Series. A win, a secured spot in the playoffs. William Byron's going to win. Six tenths of a second, five tenths of a second. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. One more, hit your mark. Brendan Poole up there in front of those guys. In that 15 car. Crew Chief Rodney Childers said, we have to prove ourselves. He wants to concentrate more on calling the races. Well, when you win seven races, on the bottom of the racetrack, Kevin Harvick trying to hold up Austin Dillon. The last charge by Dillon. He comes up a four. Harvick still going to win. Harvick wins the Southern 500. Oh, what a fight. Fight a fight. Heck yeah. White flag, one more, 2.6. He won't get to you. One more time around. You heard it. He won't get to you. 2.6 seconds, the difference between Keselowski and Martin Trunks Jr. You mentioned earlier. It was all the way back in 2014, six years ago, the last time Brad Keselowski won at Richmond. This one takes him all the way to the round of 12. He wins again at Richmond. Kevin Harvick, Kyle's closing in, trying to be perfect. Great exit for Harvick. One more here, number one. Final lap. Gonna slow Harvick up a little bit. Final time. Coming through three and four. Harvick's gonna hold him off. Harvick wins again. And now Denny Hamlin fighting for second to the inside of the 21. They're side One by lap side. to go. Side by side for second. Kurt Kurt's Bush. loving this. Yeah, Kurt Busch needs him to stay side by side. That's what's gonna make it work for him. All right, now that high side, will they get organized down the back straightaway? Day Day's going to have some momentum here. Who will he help? Or will he go three wide? Here, don't overdrive it, wrap How aggressive will they be through the final turns? De Benedetto in second. 
He drifts up the track a bit. Kurt Busch, the 2004 Cup champion, is going to win in his hometown. Busch wins in Vegas. Is there enough fuel in either one of these two cars out front? Look at Byron being able to pull up to the 17, going to get on the corner panel. That's going to pull the 17 <laughs> off the 21. It separates the white flag one more time around at Talladega. Eric Jones to the inside here. Jones is now going to push the 21. Now it's a matter of how long. The Wood that? Brothers and Matt Benedetto out front at Talladega. No organization right now. Look at this outside line. Oh, we got a car in the wall, the back straightaway. Cody Ware. Here comes the 17 and the 24. They're going to try to block. Eric, Eric in the gets wall. up in the wall. Now the 24, a big run. He slides. They make more contact. Three wide as they come out of four. Hamlin to the inside. Side draft coming from the 24 car. Denny Hamlin, William Byron through the triangle, coming up to the stripe. And as they go across the stripe, a photo finish. Denny Hamlin gets the nod by 23 one thousandths of a second. No way. They're running third and fourth. Drew Rex and the one went down in there side by side. I think they both missed the entrance to the back straightaway chicane. Everybody's doing their best to cause late race caution. <laughs> Here we go. Truex gets loose. He understands that the one's going to try to compete with him in the braking zone. And they both got in there too deep. Martin broke loose first. Gets sideways into Kurt. Kurt just not wanting to give up the spot. There won't be a restart. The white flag was taken by Chase Elliott as he's in the infield part of the course now. Yeah, I was mentioning, Rick, those five playoff points will give him the fourth vote. So, so this win can help him in the next round, can help his path to the championship for Phoenix. And that now is the goal for everyone. Everyone that's in the top eight in points now, they're looking forward to the championship four. How do they get there? What do they do in the next three races? They've got Kansas, Texas, Martinsville in front of them to try to get to Phoenix. Momentum is also a very big thing in racing. And when you come off of something like what we're seeing Chase Elliott do, it has to give him a nod as far as momentum on his side. He has the best average running position of everybody in the playoffs, Rick. So he is the hottest driver in the playoffs right now. One of the youngest. Four road course wins in a row. Chase Elliott's going to do it again at the Roval. into the wall. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Did Logano get out too far? Can Harvick reel him back in? To the bottom of the racetrack he goes, through one and two. Logano's gonna have a great run down the back straightaway. Two lap cars here in front of him, he's gonna have to contend with. Where does he go? Harvick stays up high, also lap traffic in front of him. Through three and four for the final time. Joey Logano is going to win again in 2020. This time, Kansas. Oh, yeah. It was a last lap White pass flag. for the win. Use what you can. That's 13 to be One seven. lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. One more time around. Can Kyle Busch finally get off his winless streak? The last win Kyle Busch had was when he won the championship the at the end of the year. Six. So good, six. Did he save enough fuel through three and four for the final time down to the bottom of the racetrack? He has done it. He saved enough fuel. Kyle Busch wins at Texas. Harvick working really hard to close the gap on the 18. He's down to two car lengths to Kyle Busch. He's got to make the pass or someone has to go around the 11. The and final lap for Chase Elliott. Down the back stretch for the final time. Chase Elliott through three and four. 
He is going to win his way into the championship floor. Elliott wins at Martinsville. Can Harvick do it? The final turn. Let's go get it. He needs the position. Oh, Harvick spins the 18. Turns into the 18. He turns as well. The 18 crosses the start finish line. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. One more time around. One mile away from a championship for Chase Elliott. He goes down the back stretch for the final time. The 24-year-old from Dawsonville, Georgia, is about to join his father, Awesomeville, in elite company. Chase Elliott is a NASCAR Cup Series champion. Ah! Ring that song, boys! Yes! Yeah! Awesome, awesome, awesome! Love you, boys! Love you! We are the champions! Yes!